40 over the Kansas Jayhawks tonight. It's not purple, it's green. Well, Garland Green is a, is a great athlete. I love his pull-up jumper. He's great in that 15 to 18 foot range, but he can nail the three as well. Garland Green at this point is 16 off the 17, seven of 13 from the field. Nate Butler led and thought about it. Seven on the shot clock. Garland here on the turnaround from 10 scores. Quick first step to send the lead to 12. Yeah, this little double clutch look there, and then he hit the gas. Garland Green with a deep three. A little quick and a little physical. It's Anderson. Out now Green. 10 on the shot clock. Garland from the elbow. Edge to Oklahoma State. They are 17 and 2 against the Horn Frogs, and they won six straight. But the last time they faced TCU was back in 2005. Good move by Green. Did he score in that game? Who? Trying to split the defense as it poked away. Nothing but purple shirt in front, and a jam by Green. Nice job denying the return pass up top. Once the ball gets on one side of the floor, they do not allow TCU to reverse the ball through a pass. Green. Plane dropping down from the back of the back. They're getting more production from the bigs tonight. Oh, this is a mismatch down here. Four 
Duarte trying to guard Green and national championship caliber team. But if you think there aren't other teams in the Big 12 capable of beating them this year, well, you haven't paid attention or you've listened to the negative hype. Green really has been a think that he can take Marcus Smart inside and post up. Let's see if the upper body strength of Marcus Smart doesn't keep him out of the play. Instead, they dish back out. Smart came over to help. Biggest rebounding output game of the season this year in the Big 12. Had 20 rebounds against University of Houston. Hill. Kept alive by Green. You can't allow Green to have two or three. And I'm sure we'll see it again. Until you stop it, you're going to keep running it. Green. Defense all night for one. Hey, Burnett might have been a little quick on the trigger. But tipped in. Garland Green. Under eight time out of the first half. It is all about tempo. This game is tempo. TCU's taking a lot of quick shots. The very first possession. But it tested in a beautiful jump shot. Two threes for Clyburn in the game. He shot 40% in his one year at Utah from three. Green, that's a nice take. I'm not so sure that there's a spot on the floor that you can't play this young man. Transfer from Utah. Ten points already. Green, quick trigger. Bucket, that's... When you're 6'5 and you have a body like Chris Babb and you can defend... The Gary Brown continuing to harass Ken Anderson. No room to even breathe for TCU. Pressure deep. Pierre Jackson, that's offensive execution at its best. McKinney looking inside, nothing there. A little fadeaway off the glass. It's Barnes agrees with you. 16 fouls on the long run. Green knocks down the jump against Oklahoma. Three-pointer from Green, and it's good. Me of uh, uh, Greg Popovich up I-35 there. <laughs> a lot of times it was Bruce. It started with Bruce, and, and then something else. Bruce. Anderson against the zone, 16 to shoot. I, I love Anderson's decision-making today. I mean, even there, he did nothing, which exactly was what was called for. Green, first points of the game. They need him to step up. That's huge right there. Taken by Anderson. You've got to put a body on Melvin Edgem. Every time that shot goes off, and he still may be able to get around you to get the rebound. Green attacks and scores the first deuce. Babb has been all over Garland Green today. And it goes to Abram. And now Green a three. Boy, Babb had a hand. Nyang Yang can score in a variety of ways. His skill set, three points, little hook inside. A lot of moves by that number. <laughs> Much growth. That foul was on Lewis, by the way. 16 fouls in the long run. Off the inbounds play. We've seen the sophomore from Houston tonight. Oh, knocking it down. Second straight jumper by Garland. And that was just great teamwork, great execution of that play. Oh, what a. Terrific. A lot of constant pressure make you forced to take contested twos and threes. Julian Lewis came up short on that. Up and under. Wow, what a terrific play by Gar We saw the three-point shooting woes at TCU, and the three-point shot is a great equalizer in college basketball. And their inability to knock that down. Mongo goes to his left this time, and that's blocked. Partially blocked, but it's still almost went down. Now Anderson's got two on one. Oh, yeah, here it goes down. McKinney does a good job that time of defending McLemore. And Green has his first points of the game after he had 20 again. LeBron Nash, that's his move. Spin right to left, fall away jumper. It's been a rough year for TCU, Matt, but one thing they have done is guard. They only give up 61 points a game. That is the best in 27 years at TCU. <laughs> All right, little full court pressure. Brian Williams is in. Terrific defender can guard probably four positions. And Green launches at a toe of the line. Second time. That's huge. Josh Gray can have a big game if he plays at that speed. 
I was able to be in attendance at the two biggest wins for these two teams. Tech was able to beat Iowa State here. Largely in part of Josh Gray. Shots just like that. 16 points in that upset win over the Cyclone. Really, really helped this Red Raider team in another year. Had glimpses 19 against K-State. 18 and then 13. To get that rebound hole. Green pulls up. Good defense by Rodriguez, but a better pass. First miss of the game. Garland Green. This game rolling along. Yep. Almost six minutes in. Have not had a timeout yet. Here's Anderson. Garland Green for three. Oklahoma. And now Garland Green for the catch and shoot. Romero Osby averaging 23 points and nine boards in his last six games. Here's Anderson on the penetration. Garland Green from the corner. That's another three. Down to 11 minutes to play in this game. Screen from McKinney. Garland Green for three. Got Garland Green. Anderson baseline. Key. Charles Hill. Here's Garland left alone for three. Got the ball in Key and Anderson's hands right now. They're going to try to deny him the ball, but there it is. He's got it in double team. Nate Butler land in the backcourt. Dribbles out of it. Trying to get it across and does so to Devontae Avery. 20 seconds. Garland Green with a double. Wait, no, TCU shooting just 27%. They have zero assists, five turnovers. You would expect them to be down by 15 or 20 points in this game. Yep. Green, now they're down by one. Eight straight points. This is under duress. Green, a deep three. That's this good, struggling this much. Near steal by Ray. Green's already hit a three from this spot. I guess trying to get out on these passing lanes. Might be a good time for a backdoor play. Green. Yeah. Possession. Again, Tharp trying to get it back there on Clyde Smith the third. They lead wide open. Down. Smart basketball. Smart possession. Seven to shoot. That's a we're gonna foul it. Green fouled by Elijah Jones. These students are ready to burst out of those seats. They didn't think this was going to happen tonight either. First sellout in two years for TCU. Macklemore. Crossland, he's going to be a marked man. And the foul is going to be on Relaford. He fouls out. Another three-point shooter gone for Kansas. They have a slogan here. They've got the frog sign. Usually you see it when Gary Patterson's football horn frogs are on the field. But so far tonight, they have the fear the frogs mantra going. Nobody thought we would fear the frogs tonight. But these students will never forget this evening if this score holds true. It's been an unbelievable effort by Trent and his staff. There's Pooh Williamson in the background. Pooh worked for me at SMU, was a great player for Tubby Smith at Tulsa. Just don't stop. Don't stop the clock. 
Robertson here right the third missing an immediate foul as Nico Roberts is in the game now nor Roberts son to foul. 16.3 seconds to go. Trent Johnson's leadership the toughness that he has instilled in these young man, men to continue the battle against all, all odds injury defeat again they hadn't won since the 30th of December against Mississippi Valley State but if they don't make these free throws Trent Johnson is not going to have any wardrobe left three straight misses Gets, splits the pair for nine. Eight-point game at 16.3. Nope. We're going to do this. We're going to get this done. The TCU Horn Frogs win this in Big 12 play are going to beat the number five team in the country, Matt. The first time Kansas has lost back to back in 264 games. Nothing short of amazing, really. You can't find an adjective big enough for this. I, I've never seen something like this that I can remember in my years of playing or coaching. A team that had been competing just to stay close with teams is going to beat the top team in the league. One final chance. The tip down counts, but so does Trent Johnson's win over Kansas. The first Big 12 victory in history for the Horn Frogs of TCU. Their first ever win over a top five team. There'll be Raptors running in the streets of Fort Worth tomorrow. What an incredible upset tonight here at TCU. Congratulations to that man right there. He deserves this. Trent Johnson and his staff and more importantly, his wife, because I know what wives go through when you're rebuilding a program. It's not easy. He's like Jim Valvano was when he won the title at NC State. He's looking for somebody to hug. But nobody wants to hug him with his shirt so soaked. You don't want to hug him now. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed one of the top upsets this season in all of college basketball.